began in 2008, meeting once a month for a communion service. And someone at that meeting said, will it be open table? And when she explained that it means that all are welcome, all can come as they are, then I just felt overjoyed. I had a heart leapt within me and I thought, yes, absolutely, it should be open table. The open table is a safe, sacred space for people who identify as lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer or questioning, intersex and asexual. This church has a wonderful feeling of friendship and love. It's charged. It's charged in such a, a beautiful way. It feels like a little taste of God's kingdom, a little tiny bit of what the world should be like. So we felt there was a need for Open Table because uh, too many uh, people we knew um, and too many stories we'd heard of people who felt excluded from the church community or felt unheard or unable to express themselves or to give their talents. I feel like it's home, like I feel accepted here, I feel welcome here, I feel a part of the community here. The expression that comes to mind for me is that all may be one and we are very much one. It's a place of belonging, it's a place of safety, of sanctuary, and it's growing, it's huge. Faith communities can be welcoming, accepting, affirming, and empowering. Um, and it's clear that there's a hunger for that. If, if there weren't, we wouldn't be getting so many inquiries from other places. The door is open, the table is open. You know, anyone and everyone can come here, sit down and eat. I couldn't be anywhere else. You know, I, I love everybody dearly. It, it has a very special place in my heart. I think it's so important that communities like Open Table exist and that people have access to them. It gives other people hope, even if it's not something they yet find on their doorstep. To know that it's possible and that it exists elsewhere seems to be a sign of hope that change is, is possible. Don't stand outside those doors and thinking, I can't go in. Yes, you can. Yes, you can.